Skin editor Dr. Jason Michaels is here with a timeline to help bridges or <laughs> to help bridge the gap between brides and their perfect skin. How about that? Absolutely. Yeah, Sounds just move good. with it. Okay. Well, so you got a couple of brides in the Hollywood media right now, Kim Kardashian and yeah. Reese Witherspoon, who have been engaged recently. And when Brides Magazine came out and said that, yeah. actually it is true that most of the weddings occur usually in June and August, mm -hmm. with September and October falling close behind. But in Las Vegas, actually, the most popular months are going to be your September and October months. And that's oh, perfect they are. for us. Yeah, okay. It's usually a little bit cooler weather, yeah. and so people really like that. Okay. The reason that's important for us is that when I go and I try and prepare people's skin to get that wow effect before mm -hmm. their pictures, I need time to do that. Yeah. I can't do that in a week. And okay. so that's why I try to put them on a timeline. Now, I like them to come in about three months ahead of time. Ideally, if they can come in six months ahead of time, that's really the best way to Because it's six months ahead of time, you can treat acne, blemishes, and scarring of the texture of the skin, right? That's exactly right. I mean, the thing people don't realize is that when people come in with acne breakouts, it takes about four to six weeks for those medicines Ooh. to really start kicking in. Okay. So if you're coming in a little bit too early or, or too late in the game, then it's really hard to fully correct that. Acne scars are a difficult thing as well. Yeah lasers, multiple treatments, and so you need time to make that happen. Okay, doctor, tell me about the uh, treat the color of your skin. What is it? What do you mean by okay, that? Okay, so a lot of people come in with sun damage, brown spots, or they might have broken okay. blood vessels okay. or redness of their cheeks. Mm -hmm. And so I usually space that out about three months ahead of time. So if okay. you're coming in then, we can easily rectify that. We just need time to do a, a couple of subtle treatments in order to improve that. And then as you're moving in a little bit closer, about two months prior to the ceremony, mm -hmm. um, now, and usually patients that are about 30s or their 40s is when I'm addressing their fine little lines with superficial fillers that we can use. Okay. And the reason that's important is, is that any injectable naturally could potentially bruise. Okay. And so, same thing. You don't want to do it a week ahead of time, you want a little bit of time for allow that to recover. Okay. And then as we're heading into that home stretch right before the vows, we want the, the face to really glow. We want it to, to get that wow effect. And mm -hmm. so now we're doing superficial chemical peels. Now we're doing things like microdermabrasion treatments and making them look, look, look great. Okay. I usually invite all my brides back about one week ahead of time as well because sometimes they'll get these little breakouts because mm -hmm. of nervousness. Nerves, yeah, absolutely. And so I'm gonna inject those. Okay. I want them to look perfect for their pictures. And so that's kind of the message. You know, okay. you go and you, you, you go ahead a couple months ahead of time to shop for your dress. As soon as you get the ring, you need to start seeing well, Dr. Michaels. Let, let's start coming to see yeah. Dr. Michaels and getting this turned around. Let me ask you this real quick. You know, brides have to budget everything. Give me the minimum that they should set aside for the treatment of their skin. Just the you minimum. Know, it's really important to know that people are very different in, okay. far in, in regards to what they have. Some people don't have a lot to correct, and some people have a lot to correct. Okay. So it's very individualized therapy. So okay. it's going to depend.